Hey everyone, my name is Karina, welcome back. On today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super delicious spicy Romano chicken. This is mine and my husband's favorite dish at a restaurant called Johnny Carino's. So if you guys don't know how to make it, let me show you guys how. For this recipe, we're gonna start off by cooking our pasta. I'm gonna add water to the pot, and once it starts boiling, we're gonna add 16 ounces of bold type pasta. We're gonna stir it occasionally and let it cook for about 11 minutes. Our pasta is now ready, it's time to drain it. I'm gonna be using one pound of chicken breast. I've already cut it into smaller pieces and I'll be seasoning it with the blend seasoning. We're gonna let it marinate for 15 minutes. On a separate pan that I've set on medium heat, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter and one tablespoon of olive oil. Once the butter is melted, we're gonna add half a cup of sliced mushrooms, one fourth cup of sun-dried tomatoes, 10 ounces of artichoke hearts, and half a cup of green onion. And we're gonna saute them for about two minutes. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to taste. We're gonna saute it for about another minute. Turn off the heat and set it to the side. On a separate pan that I put on medium heat, I'm gonna melt two tablespoons of butter. Once the butter is melted, we're gonna add our chicken and cook it for about five minutes. It's been five minutes and the chicken is now ready. We're gonna turn off the heat and set it to the side. Now I'm gonna make the sauce. For the sauce, we're gonna need four tablespoons of melted butter. Once the butter is melted, we're gonna add the heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna be using one pint of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna season with some salt and pepper. I'm also adding some paprika. Mix it up. Once the sauce comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn off the heat and add Romano and Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna be using one fourth cup of Romano cheese and one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese. Our sauce is now ready. I'm gonna turn the heat back on low and I'm gonna add the vegetables and the chicken. We're gonna mix it up. Once it's mixed, we're gonna add in the pasta. Remember, keep it on the lowest setting of the stove because you don't want your sauce to stick or to thicken up and burn. We're gonna start adding in the pasta. Make sure that all the pasta is covered with the sauce. It is looking delicious. Once it's all mixed, we're gonna cover it up and leave it on very low setting for 10 minutes. It's been simmering for about 10 minutes and our spicy Romano chicken is now ready. Look at how delicious it looks. And it smells amazing. And there you have it, delicious spicy Romano chicken. All right guys, this is my favorite part, you already know it. I'm starving. Today I started cooking too late. Cheers. Mmm. So delicious. The chicken. It's just perfect. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely make it. And the sundae tomatoes just hit perfect. If you've made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you'll never miss a video. I'll see you guys next time. 